Now I think we're on. Okay. Uh, now I think we're on. Yeah, there okay. we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was hoping to get on once more during the week, but life. So, I don't know. Should I talk about my personal life on this? I mean, normally this is just the game. Um, yeah, I mean, I could I could mention a couple things going on instead of just saying life. Um, so, yeah, folks who know me in person know now that, yeah, Mel's pregnant, so in a handful of months, five or six months, I might not be able to be doing this as much, because then, or I'm going to have an extra audience. My son will be watching. Uh, he's not going to be able to be much of a help, though, at first. Well, moral support, I guess. Um, so I'm trying to get in a lot of development time now, but, uh, you know, there's just a lot to take care of that, and then our bathroom renovation is just kind of dragging on a bit, and having to run around to hardware stores and things and pick up stuff, um, all of which is taking time away from this. Uh, no, we don't want that. Um, so yeah. I, uh, I think I can get some some work done now, maybe a little bit over the weekend. Um, anyway, yeah, this is where we left off. Uh, so we got the like partial collision tiles thing stuff working. How did that happen? That was kind of cool. <laughs> um, so these like kind of half tiles. Uh, I'll turn the gizmos back on just to. I, hate this. Uh, maybe I can turn off some of the... Ugh, there's just so much stuff. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to see all this. And I thought I could turn off the... No, it's like they still... Whatever, I don't know what this means. Um... But yeah, you can see how there are these like half tiles. See this right here is like half of half of it split vertically. This is half of it split horizontally. And these ones, I mean, you can I can change them to not just be halves. They could kind of they can be variable. You know, like kind of that's like kind of a it's it's a variable amount, so that's cool. So yeah, technically you can fall through that. <laughs> um, but now what I want to do is, so when I when I don't just use regular blocks, but if I do like this slope, so right now it thinks that he's colliding because this is not taking into account that offset data. Yeah, that's like the normal that changes as he walks over this cosine. Wow, wow. Yeah, so we have wonkiness we have to uh, we have to kind of deal with that and that's what I'm gonna start with today and hopefully it's not that bad but pretty much he should be you know actually walking along this and not above it because the tile still thinks that it's there's no vertical or horizontal offset so which actually in this case, yeah, it would be a, there's a Y offset of like 16 pixels. And the collision doesn't know that, but the graphics do. So there is, they are out of alignment. So let me fix it. Um, this is in the collision check for the solid tile. But solid tile meaning the tiles that are just square blocks uh, but I want to see there's another one there's this collision check function for every other type of tile the curves the slopes those kind of things um, semi solids don't care about that right now uh, so this is if Right, surface Y, surface Y. Uh, 
All right, Y table. This is like for every X position in the tile, it'll there'll be a Y. So like if you are for like a, a regular slope, just a slant, your Y is you know M X plus B. This uh, line equation. Um, So basically, you know, just like a one-to-one -one function from, like, you know, 10th grade math. Math and games. Uh, so this, though, is not taking into account the Y offset. If I were to just say it's not enough to just apply the Y offset here, though. Because, actually, yeah, during the whole child generation process, certain, ind certain indices into this table just get set to invalid Y when there is no Y position for that X. Um, so, like, if... Uh, uh, I mean, I could I could show an example of that another time, but pretty much what's gonna happen, I think, what we want to do is uh, plus offset y. And then, <laughs> or. Seems like this would be, it, this is indicating no collision. So I'm just gonna now say like, uh, right, so, it's a valid collision if for that X, you get a Y that is somewhere in between zero and the number of pixels in the tile. If you're above it or below it, you are not in there, there's no collision. I think that's an okay assumption to make. Uh, what am I defaulting? Yeah, it's defaulted to none. And if we never reset that, we will never get into here. Uh, and never mind, that's even more checks to do. This is some of the resolution, collision resolution logic. That 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 might be. That might be enough for at least the Y offset. Let me see. I mean, there's more to. Like how this Y table is generated, that's a little bit more into where we have to go into the algebraic functions and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show that if I don't have to, because I don't want to look at it. Um, huh? No, huh? You're supposed to land on that. Okay. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Not good. Not great. Not amazing. Okay, so I broke something else. So, though, it's kind of... kind of wondering why this does that, because... And this, that shouldn't be triggering. Uh, is this... Yeah, because there's no Y offset. It's like, is it catching it in here? Uh, I think we're, we're getting a false positive, and that's strange. Uh... Let me just put something here so I can catch it. 
Yeah, my favorite. Okay, now I shouldn't run into this. All right, well, at this point in time, correct. There's no collision. And it's probably gonna just run into this a bunch until he lands on the ground. How many times is that going to get hit before I... Alright, okay, yeah, he's there. He landed. Yeah, good, fine. Okay, sure. Oh, and then it gets trapped again. I gotta take that off. It's going to be hard to... It's going to be a little hard to... Uh... To catch in the act. Yeah, like, mm -hmm, why, why is that happening? <laughs> Unless, unless this is a valid one, I might, I might, and this just might be like a one-off error. I think, uh, I think it is okay for. The Y to resolve to say uh, 32 pixels because then you're basically pushing it above the tile so that the player is like sitting on top of it, not in it. Um, so 32 pixels high, and if the collision is pushing him out to Y is 32, he's technically not in the 0 to 31 pixel range of the tile, he's sitting above it, but that's actually what we want. Yeah, all right, things seem to be back in order. What happens here? Grr. Oh, 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 okay, all right. Oh yeah, I don't need that, I don't need that dirt to keep printing out. <laughs> Though, why was it printing out? And. up here so like that works he can now but I think landing on it didn't work yeah landing on it did not work and now he's like just not happy so was that what it was was it landing on it was bad yeah all right so walking along the ground was fine but landing on it caused a problem Hard to land on because it's so small. Bonk. Yeah, all right. So, so why? Uh... uh, it's probably the same problem that I ran into with the solid tiles where the, the the collision resolution is pushing them too high up but see if I'm, if I'm setting it to just surface why oh. oh 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 Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, when you re when resolving this way, 
then the collision could still it could still resolve to inside. So I should be getting into here. Collision resolution should be set to inside because even when when resolving the collision, you still end up inside the tile, not on top of it in this case. that he's probably hitting is <coughs> this probably going here oh yeah oh So, why is this happening? Oh yeah, this, this, this case was if he had zero speed. Like, if he just spawned inside of a tile or something, and then he would just get pushed out. But here I, here I have service with the Y table. Why would it need to be... sure why uh, why do I have this <laughs> why isn't the the regular surface why why do I have to reset it um... This is a detecting. Um, this is if he didn't collide. The problem is, yeah, now when he does collide. Oh, it's working its way out of the. Yeah, yeah, now I know what it's doing. Now I know what it's doing. Yeah. So. Yeah. So with the square tiles, I knew that I can just do trigonometry to find the point on the edge of the tile to resolve to. But because these are arbitrary shapes, I'm just doing a dumb linear kind of push out a little bit at a time until you get outside the tile. Mm, this is problematic. I mean, this in itself is... It's not very smart. I mean, I should I should actually have a way to calculate the like a, a point, like a ray to the edge of a mathematical function. Um, I should have a better way to do it than just this. This is not fast. Uh, it's just good enough for now. But that's not the problem. This is the problem. So it's like while collision result is inside, but it's always going to be inside.
So first of all, how does this how does this work for non-offset tiles? Because It seems like this would always return I just need to refresh myself on what this is actually assuming because I don't I don't like the assumption being made there so bah, yeah so it found that we collided and it's gonna push out <laughs> so that we land right on the edge of that slope not inside the tile not above the tile just right on the edge mm -hmm. So, uh, how come my F10 isn't working? Yeah, okay, there we go, F lock. Uh, yeah. Still inside. Oh. It's okay to end up inside, I think. Yeah, as long as one of these things stops becoming true. So position Y, uh, surface Y, still eight. And then we see a point in tile. Y is five. So we're still gonna go around again. Y is 7 at this particular point. 6. It's going to go around one more time. No, it's not. And what is result? Still inside. Okay, good, 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 good. Y is 6.2. Oh, oh yeah, alright. So it, it pushed him out good enough so that he's now resting comfortably on the hill. So like at first he landed, no, not that, that button, like about over here and then the physics kind of pushed him like, crunk, so he's standing there, just pivoted at his feet there. So like he was like, he, when he landed, he was like here and then it like did a, like bram, 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 a few iterations to push him out there. Okay. Okay. So, in that case, I think I just need two. Yeah, pretty much do this, apply the offset Y. Uh, I think I think that's it. Which would be doing have no visible effect on that hill, but since here we have a we should be able to land on the hill. We do. We do. This is encouraging news. 
So it's possible that, yeah, I now have that working. Can I like... Oops. Yeah. Bam. No. Negative 16, yeah. Can I land on this? I should be able to. Whap. Yeah. Bloop. <laughs> That's it. Can I gr ledge grab it? I doubt it. <laughs> I can. That's silly. And actually... Kind of what I want, but not really. He shouldn't be over there, but... Okay, 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 okay. Um, that's encouraging. So now I just want to make sure that I say that here as well. <laughs> but this is not telling us the whole story. We need to... Do the, the X, the horizontal offset as well. Um, so. It's kind of hard to tell the difference now because it looks like the same thing I just had, but... But now it's X flipped instead of Y. Oh yeah, I can do that. That's... I mean... <laughs> so like, hooray, I just made that shape. And then I can make that here as well. If I ever wanted to do something like that. It's just not a great use of this. But see, okay, so... Yeah, we don't have the X offset yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, what, what happens if you do that? Do... <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's... That's because... No, 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 no. Um. Yeah. Yeah, how how big is Y table? I think I think it's pixel width elements long. Yep. It's thirty two. Uh yeah. So basically apply the X offset. And then if if that ends up putting him at a position that's outside of the tile, you know that there is no co uh, collision due to the horizontal offset of the tile. So that's why I would just set it to invalid Y, and then it would fall into here, and you get nothing. Um... Oh, uh, then yeah.
<laughs> and then I gotta do a similar thing for the collision resolve here. Um, it might not be as straightforward. Uh, Oh my jeez. Uh... Pretty much that. I need to be adding it like this or can I just say I was gonna just add the going to add the x the offset x to this position x at the beginning over here but i feel like no is this actually correct though um let me um So, I'm just drawing out for myself, and I guess for you too. Uh, that's horrible. I need a bigger font. So that's, these are what these look like. Um, more or less. 
Actually, 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 no, not quite. Oops. I mean, kinda. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Uh, it's pretty far off. I didn't do a good job with that, but. Um. Yeah, so if the offset is 16, that means. If I'm checking, like, it, if I'm at, like, position X4, might it be over there? Um, I actually want to look at, so in order to look at the first element of that Y table, I need to be at X16. Um, yeah, X, X, an actual X of 16 would correspond to zero, index zero of that Y table. So it's like, I actually want to subtract 16 from the incoming position X. Yeah, I think that was what I wanted to do. So what I'm actually saying, so, <coughs> I mean, there is Y table data for this portion, which means if, so if his X is zero, he'll be here. If his X, if his incoming X though is like say four or eight, no collision. Because it would actually be, I would subtract yeah, yeah, that's good. If his X is 16, it's Y table zero. If his X is 31, it's Y table 15, fine. If his X is 32, Is that checked for? Oh, uh, uh, one thing at a time. First, this is getting the correct index into the Y table, I think. This is if he's falling, which is good because we'll we'll test floors first. Uh. Hmm. All right, all right. Let let me see what I get with this. Oh, I didn't save it when I did that, uh... I'll 
I'll just make it again. Eh, no. Yes. And I'll just kind of do that again. Oops. And maybe I want that to be Okay. All right, he can walk over that. He can walk over this. Okay, but that's only half the battle because he has to be able to land on it. So we're not out of the Oh. Oh, he, he can. Clonk. Yeah, I mean the the ultimate test would be Not the ultimate test, just to make sure that he's definitely landing on it. He can land on No, no, no. What am I doing? The point was to make it... Oops. Kronk. Huh? land on this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, something. Okay. Okay. Cool. I th I think uh, I feel like I'm missing something huge. I mean, I know I got to do ceilings too. And I feel like this is really not, it's very verbose, uh, but. I gotta, I gotta test it a little more. <laughs> um, uh, dur, 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 dur. That's that's not right. That's not right. Oh wait, is it? Uh, I think I know what that is. It's like a. It's what happens when you go like that. But... Yeah, it didn't go right. It didn't. It didn't. It's... It should be looking like this. But instead it filled in that entire thing. Yeah, like it filled in the entire thing. <laughs> Doop. Negative 
for. That's what I'm expecting to see. Negative five, negative six, negative seven. And he can still walk on it just fine. Negative eight. So where does it go bonkers? Negative nine. Negative two. <laughs> Just a second. Yeah, all right, sure, we'll grab onto that. Negative 11. Negative 12. Negative 13. Negative 14. Negative 15. Negative 16, burn. And then it just became a, uh, and is it the same story if I, if I say, yeah, that is weird. If I say 15, it's fine. Can I even collide with this? <laughs> yeah, all right. That's cool that that works. But if I want to push it over to negative to, to 16 or negative 16, it just goes grunk and turns into a solid tile. Um, and that's not anything with the collision. That's how it's. There are a couple of cases where it just, the shape generation logic will try to see, <clears throat> will try and optimize and then s and set the tile as a constant, which is a solid block. So let me see if it's doing that. Um... doing that here. It's it's probably getting caught into one of these. It should be pretty easy to find. And then catch why it's doing that. No, I mean, I, I, I don't care now. Okay. You're right. Make a thingy. And then whamp. Whamp. Yeah, oh wait, that wasn't the problem. It was Yeah, negative sixteen. And we hit we triggered the trap card. Hmm. So, wrong. Wrong. Why was pixel count 1024? Should not be. Starting at zero, going to uh -huh. It was just doing this wrong. You needed to start at offset X. Because here it was going from X equals zero to X equals 48. 32 minus negative 16. So it was just not, that was not what we wanted. That's silly.
Alright, so it looks like this get y doesn't actually check <laughs> to see if the x is valid before it returns its result. It does check before it caches it into the y table. So it won't crash, but it, it will just, it'll give us false positives as far as number of pixels. So we need to... Basically, just do that. Alright. I think that will do the thing that we want to do. Yeah. Can I, if I can walk down this hill, that will be an accomplishment. Yes! Look at that. <laughs> Duh. Well, I mean, you can't... Oh, what the... Why that? Yeah, good, yeah. Oh, why did he get bopped out? Bop! And then, like, he got super confused, and now he's, like, kind of stuck in the ground, and, yeah. Alright, that collision resolution is round. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, I like, I like some of what's going on here. I don't like that. Alright. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> I think that's because uh, um, he's getting pushed out that way. I think this is happening. It's gotta be. It's gotta be resolving to this. And that's not, sh it should still be inside. Let me make sure that that's right. Yeah. So, if he lands, if he jumps at the tile and eventually he'll be somewhere like right inside of it, it should just push him out left but still, he's still within the tile, so that the the chunk shouldn't push him out an extra tile's width. That would be too much. We were seeing this happening with some of the half tiles, with some of the square half tiles. It was pushing him out too far, and that's what's going on here. Um, so I think the collision resolution code is left when it should still be inside. Left would want to put him here. Inside means he's still in this square space here, but he wants to actually so I, uh, yonk, and I was right. 
I was right. Because, yeah, you should just push out to the left. Of course, um... So really, though, the point in tile should not be... Point in tile is returning. Bopped him out too far. Bop. <coughs> yeah, X is 15. 15.37. Oh. I think I just I want to say Hmm. So that that helps me get the right normal, but it by telling me that it went he's went left, that does help me get the right normal. But it's I think I just need to do the same thing I did in this in the other function. Blah 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 blah. I can a lot of that's comments I can get rid of. Like I think I have to do this same thing. I know it's not the most optimal. Wait, ah, I just overran it. Yeah, this comment is still relevant. But now it's like, we want to just check to see if you're in the tile without applying the offsets. If you're just in that general square area, then you still resolve to inside. Pretty sure that's gonna do us just fine. Schlornk. Schlornk. Blah. Didn't work. Why? Did not work. Oh. Oh. Because I, uh... I copy-pasted. Yeah, I just used the wrong position. Variable. Why do I have two of them? That's a good question that you didn't ask. And then I don't have to answer. It was for the sake of trying to just not create tons of local variables and just use references or, or persistent variables. But I, it was ill-advised, but now it's kind of ingrained. Uh, it, it, is, it is something to deal with, but yes. Uh -huh. Bop. Yeah, you can now bump into that thing and, well, go her. You can now bump into that thing, and can you bump into it from that side? Yeah, it's just bump it into all sorts of things. Can't go through that tile.
<laughs> uh. What the? What is this? <laughs> well. There's, that's a very, very... There's a lot wrong with that. At least I can repro it consistently, but... Hmm. Could it be just like, don't, don't do that? I mean, uh, I gotta... Just when you think you ran into all of them. Like, okay, fine, good, that's fine. I'm not sure if I wanted that to happen. I guess. I mean, he didn't quite grab it the right way, but... So... I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, he ledge grabbed? And then, but he's not... <laughs> And now he's like in some kind of weird state. Now he's fine. Strange. <laughs> Yeah, this ledge grabbing is not as robust as I would like. Doink. Doink. It's like you can do that. I mean, kind of hard to repro. Was that? I mean, do I want him to grab at that length? I feel like he's grabbing too far away. I feel like he grabbed from way too far away. It might be because... It might be because the tile is shifted to the left. It's offset left and the grabbing ray like, maybe he was over here, he he shot the ray forward, it landed somewhere here, and then it counted as, yeah, you can grab this tile because there's land here. Could be. I just want to try something else, though. Um, Does this work? <sighs> Can you just... Alright, it looked like it did. Do I, do I automatically get like this, the curves for free? Yes. Yeah. This might be weird. Nah, yeah, it's fine. So whereas before we couldn't have that exactly. In fact, we could have like these little Whoops. These little, like, eyeballs. These little... Ellipsoid, the ellipses platforms. Couldn't have that before, now we can. Doink. Oh man, something strange is afoot. <laughs> yeah, he, he could somehow grab that. I'm going to have to do another pass at this ledge grabbing. Ugh. 
Yeah. Um, but okay, so we got that. So I think we get all the shapes. I think we get all the shapes now with this stuff. Oh man, is that even gonna work? Uh, can he, can he land on this little thing? Yes, and he even he even like does that. Yeah. What happens if you land on this? Um, oh, yeah. I don't want that there. What I actually want to do is... Can you land on this? No! Oh. oh. Okay, no. So no, so that's a problem. We don't have that. We have it, kind of, but then when you get to the edge of the tile, you... Bad things happen. So we don't have everything. What is going on? <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> he just wants to grab every ledge. Hmm. Alright, so, so we don't have everything, but... Circles, that's good. Can you land on this thing? Yeah. Alright. What about if you went like this? I think yes. Can you bop into that? Yeah. Hey, 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 come on. Land on it. I should just make it a little bit bigger. All right, good. That side of the tile collides. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. I mean, this is and like this. Can you just? I don't know why I would ever want this kind of tile, but... Yeah, vloop, vloop, vloop. Okay. Alright. Now, for a little bit more testing. Um, let's say I do this. Then, let's say I... want to do that oh yeah you you can't oh uh, yeah I can't I can't do both of those I mean like I can't fill that gap because they are technically I mean the collision still works that's still weird but like if I ever so if I ever need a tile a single tile that's just like that but now, because they each occupy their own tile, and they're each offset... Um, <laughs> I mean, there's that. Yeah, good. Weird. Weird how when I jump... What's my... what's my normal? Normal's wrong. Is that just... Is that just... Does that have anything to do with the offset? No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. It's just the way it is. Oh, uh, yeah. It is. It's just wrong. 
Okay, well that's a, that's an unrelated bug, unrelated to offsetting. What is that? Why did he bounce? All right, so so there's some kinks to work out. <laughs> Clearly. fell there are things to work out with this but <laughs> but there is some progress all right I, I, I think I want to say I'm happy with this for now um, I'll look into some of the weird bugs some of the weird ledge grabbing I think they're all related to ledge grabbing. And why he's like stuck now in the ground until you jump again. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, cuz when and then when you do things weirdly like that, then it he's like in a weird physicsy state until you leave the ground again and come back. Oh no! Alright, well, that's a good time to end this. So, yeah. Alright, so some stuff was made. Uh, we got some more of these different tiles working, but uh, some bugs. But I'd say, alright, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I I'm gonna, I gotta think if I want to really dig more into these bugs or just kind of backburner them a bit until they become really obtrusive. Because I want to move on to other things. Uh, I guess we'll find out for next time. But 